Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back. And I'm very excited to be uh, able to bring back this collection after a very long hiatus. Um, we are bringing back Billy Bones, uh, How Your Body Works. Now, I do believe we finished off with issue two and we've just picked up, um, we'll be picking up from issue three. This will be every Monday. Um, so we'll be doing that. Now in this uh, issue, we'll skip right to the back because obviously that's where you're, uh, instructions are we are going to be putting uh the clip on billy's neck so there's a little clip that goes around the ball socket which makes your skull move and then obviously put in the socket with the um the the circle uh clip that we've just put on that's going to be going into the skull itself so a very easily uh quite easy assembly there and then obviously coming up in issue four is part of billy's spine the right half of the brain and his cerebellum so uh yeah really really good now when i had this previously it was extremely difficult trying to get it into there um, because I used to have this collection before, believe it or not, and I sold it as a complete kit. And then as you do, you're browsing around Vinted, and then uh, someone was selling this for the whole kit again, and I was like, this is too good of an offer to not turn it, to, you know, to turn down. So I bought it all over again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is obviously the clips, and they're going to be feeding into here. Once you get this in, it's extremely difficult to get it back out again, but uh, with a bit of persuasion, you'll get that out. So first things first, what we need to do is, as you can see, this is the part that we've got here, and we've got this little um, clip that we've got. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be basically putting it on so that the you've got an opening here. It doesn't matter too much. The easiest way, you can do it two ways. You can prise it apart gently, or the easiest way is to just go like that, and then it will sock it on uh, suck it onto there like that as you can see now obviously on here you're going to have vertebrae discs because uh, obviously these are all your vertebrae going uh, there and you'll have little white clips that go into that um and what we need to do is making sure that this spinal section is there they want it so that we're going to be now putting it into this little socket here so as you can see you've got one two three four and five and this is going to go into there and what will happen is it will make it rock so that you can move the spine and the head and stuff now this should be easy to do easier more said than done but uh it is quite a challenge i think as i said i think it's more easier putting it in than it is getting them back out because you have to push the clips in so that they click into place that's one that's two as you can see it's like a little uh really sort of push it and there we go wow that was actually easier than it's said than done but as you can see you can articulate this now so you can move the you you can move it around like that now obviously when you're there's no reason why this needs to come back out if however you decide you want to move house and perhaps you need to pack it down and uh packs uh down um flat pack it is where the word i'm looking for then obviously you might want to take these out trying to get these out is extremely difficult i found it might be easier for you guys but i found it much difficult uh, apologies about the dust and debris in there it has been sitting on a shelf for some time because we haven't worked on it for so long um but the great thing is obviously We've now got his eyes in. Obviously, the other half of the brain will go into this cavity here. Um, and obviously, you can move his jaws and stuff. But what it enables you to do is you can now, like, move the head round, articulate it. You know, it's such a fantastic little uh, mechanism there. But really, really lovely. As you can see, it's got a lot of play in that. You can do it all over. I wouldn't play, give it too much force because you don't want to do it. And something that I did notice is, obviously, this is the nasal cavity. But if you look underneath, I don't know if this will be like it in real life. I mean, this is just a skeleton. You've got to remember that where you, with, with your skeleton, you've got all skin around it. And we'll get into the skin a little bit further down the line because the skin is involved in this and it's an optional extra. Some people like to keep it as a skeleton. Some people like to keep it as muscle. But I did notice that the actual end of the nasal cavity comes out here. So I'm wondering if that's like a... As you breathe in, it just is an air pocket around here because it doesn't actually suggest that it links to anything because it's a hollow right the way through there. Um, and obviously this is on this part, you'd have cartilage to create the part of the nasal cavity because uh, without the cartilage, it will just look like that and it'll be horrifying. <laughs> but that was a really quick issue. 
Um, he's certainly getting uh, his body all uh, sorted out now, so it's been lovely to work on this again. Uh, that is issue number three, whoops, tore the page there. That is issue number three of How Your Birdo Works. Um, as I said, RBA, the company who makes this is called RBA, and Eagle Moss trialed this in America um, before they went into administration. Eagle Moss did have the license for this, but unfortunately, um, Eagle Moss is no longer to be. However, RBA, who produced this, as you can see down here, RBA, they're a very quiet publisher. They don't really bring out an awful lot of things. They've done uh, rock gems and minerals. They've done, the, I mean, their new one is Timeless Classics. They've done Real Life Bugs. Um, and now, obviously, this. This is a very successful one. It's been out three years running, I think. Um, whether we see this again, I don't know. But as I said, they're not a publisher that does... Uh, lots of collections at one time it seems to be like one collection and then it's like a three-year gap or it's a very big gap before they'll bring out another one I really would love to see the real life bugs again and the precious rocks gems and minerals but this is a fantastic collection to get as I said it is like a kid's sort of collection but with me I'm a part work builder and uh, I look at it as a part work to me um, plus, I like I, I, the human body fascinates me and the fact that, you know, your brain is basically like your computer that controls everything. And then your heart 365 days a year pumps day in, day out. And it's, you know, it's just a fantastic muscle. And uh, you'll learn a lot when you build this. It's, it's just a lovely, lovely collection. And uh, it's really, really quite good. But anyway, please remember to like, share, subscribe. That's how your body works with Billy Bones and me, Mike. Um, please remember to check out the, um, the, uh, I've lost my words. Please remember to check out my sister channels, which is Scam Models with Mike, Cross with Mike, Diamond Paints with Mike, and oh, Snappy Shopper, uh, sna oh, Snappy Shopper, sorry, Snappy Haul, I can't get it out. <laughs> uh, Shopping Hauls with Mike, and yeah, really, really good. But um, until next time, we will see Billy Bones again next Monday uh, with issue number four of How Your Body Works. So until then, take care, have a lovely evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.